the price. Now we will be discussing multi-level inverters. Regular two-level inverter. These inverters only have voltage levels at the output, which are positive peak voltage and negative peak voltage. Sometimes having a zero voltage is also known as a two-level inverter. So some authors say it a two-level inverter, some say it a three-level inverter. They also found the zero level also a level of the voltage. In multi-level inverters, we uh, have more level, more than one levels. So the basic advantage of multi-level inverters is a better harmonic uh, profile, that reduced number of harmonics. So the, the, these are the types: flying capacitor inverter, diode clamp inverter, hybrid inverter, and cascaded capacitor inverter. We will discuss flying capacitor. We will discuss diode clamp first, then flying capacitor, and then cascaded capacitor. So this is the basic theme of a multi-level inverter. Here we will we have various voltage levels. Uh, C1, C2, C3, C4. We have four voltage, uh, in fact, five voltage levels. One, two, three, four, five levels. So if we connect this switch S1, we have voltage V1 here. When we connect S2, we have voltage V2 and S3 and V3, S4 and V4 and S5. We can have five levels. So this is the basic theme of a multi level. So, advantages. The advantages of the multi-level inverter is better waveform quality of the output voltage, more sinusoidal, reduced dB by dt leading to reduced in EMI, and low voltage trading devices can be used. That is, the voltage stress is lesser on different devices in multi-level inverters. This advantage is high component count and the number of components are higher. Some configurations need more than one associated DC supply, so we need more than one associated DC supply. So first we will be discussing a diode clamp multi-level. The main concept of this inverter is to use diodes and provide the multiple voltage levels in the different phases to the capacitor banks which are in series. A diode transfers a limited amount of the voltage thereby reducing the stress on the other electrical devices. The maximum output voltage is half of the input DC voltage. It is the main drawback of diode clamp multi-level inverter. This problem can be solved by integrating the switches diode. Due to the capacitor balancing issues, these are limited to three levels. This type of inverter provides the high efficiency because of the fundamental frequency used for all switching devices, and it is a simple method of the back to back process of power transfer system. In this you can see that this is a multi level inverter. Here, here we have C1 and C2, and we see by 2 here, zero voltage and minus two, and there are four switches. So this is a three level level diode clamp and this is these are the voltage levels from this by to zero. This is the switching states S1, S2, S1 dash, S1 dash. For S1, S2, if we press one, also, if we press one for the switch S1, S2, S1, S2 are press one means these are uh, switched on. So if the switch is S1 and S2 are switched on, then we get the voltage here VDC by And if S, S2 or S1 dash are on, then we will be getting zero volt. And if S1 dash and S2 dash are on, then we will be getting minus VDC by 2. We are getting three voltage levels VDC by 2 and minus VDC by 2. These are the switch switching states. So, this is how a diode clamp multi level, two level Now, this, this is for the single phase, and for the three phase, we have the three legs here S1, S2, S3, S4. Will the other and then by by the proper uh, variation of the gate pulses, we can obtain a three uh, phase signal here, uh, which is what we are talking about. This is how a three phase multi level inverter with a diode clamp. The other one is the flying capacitor multi level inverter. The main concept of this inverter so, so applications of the diode clamp multi level inverter are static VR compensator. Practice devices, variable speed motor drives, high voltage system interconnections, and high voltage CNC transmissions. Flying capacitor multi The main concept of this inverter is to use capacitors. So, it is of series connection of capacitor clamp and switching cells. The capacitors transfer a limited amount of the voltage. This inverter takes our states are like the diode clamp. Clamping diodes are not required in this type of multi level inverter. 
toggle has switching and then switching in the case in the balance line of capacitors and the case of the line This is the line capacitor, the level of line capacitor. You can see that this is the line capacitor. For the three level phase of line capacitor, you can see that the three level are VDC by 2, C and minus C. For the voltage levels, VDC by 2 upper switch. S1 and S2 So, if you turn on the On the other hand, for the negative voltage, we so For the zero voltage, we will be turning on the two lower switches S1 and S2. For zero level of the S1 and S3, for S2 and S4 can be turned on. S1 and S3. S1 and S3. This is for the S1 and S3 and S2 and S4 can be turned on. In this equation, what will happen is capacitor C1 is charged and S1 and S3 are turned on. So when you turn on S1 and S3, we will charge this capacitor. S1 and S3 will charge. And uh, it is discharged when S2 and S4 are done. So, when you turn on the S2 and S4, this will discharge your capacitor. Therefore, the voltage magnitude of the C1 can be balanced by the proper selection of the zero level, which is the So, this is how a multi level inverter will be applying capacitor with the This is a three phase. Now, please note that this was the single phase one and the for the three phase. This is for the three phase multi level in the flying capacitor. Here we have this is the output for the A phase, B phase, C phase, uh, three phase supply which is compared to the from the proper switching pulses, gate pulses, or three switch three phase flying three uh, phase on this DC to DC which is the three phase multi level in the flying capacitor. So, sir, if you are induction motor control using the DC direct output control circuit. Static VR generation is used for DC to DC and DC to DC inverter applications, inverter with R1 for stability and sinusoidal current mechanisms. Now, finally, is the cascaded edge bridge multi level inverter. So, cascaded edge bridge multi level inverter is the uh, in which we have cascaded edge. What is meant by cascade? Cascade means to install two blocks in series, like the output of one is the input of the other. So this is how an edge bridge inverter in cascaded edge bridge. The edge bridge modules will be in series. The output of one will be the input of the other. So this you can see that the cascaded edge bridge multi-level inverter is to use capacitors and switches and require less number of components in each level. Power conversion cell and power can be easily seen. Combination of capacitors and switches pair is called an edge bridge and gives the separate and convincing voltage for each edge bridge. It consists of the edge bridge cells and each cell can provide three different voltages like zero, positive, and negative. One of the advantages of this type of multi level inverter is that it needs less number of components compared with the diode clamp and flying capacitor inverters. So it needs less number of components. The price and weight of the inverter are less than both of these two. Soft switching is possible by some of the new switching methods. Multi-level cascade inverters are used to eliminate the bulk transformer required in case of convenient multi-state inverters. So here uh, we, we see that the, this is the output of one bridge. So it is in series with the output of the other bridge. So this is how a multi-level inverter will be cascaded as it will be. This will add the output of both bridges. This is the output of one bridge and this will add the both bridges. So this is how the multi level, uh, this is a 5 bridge 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 levels. It is considering 0 as a voltage level. So, this is a 5 level uh, cascaded edge bridge, uh, 3 phase inverter. Uh, sorry, single phase inverter. So, for the 3 phase, we will be having uh, other legs uh, like uh, this. This is the 3 phase one, this is the red phase, yellow phase, and blue phase again. The supply will be the same, but there will be 120, the magnitude will be same, but 120 degree phase difference. This will be created by proper switching of the uh, 
Applications of cascaded and bridge type multi level inverters are motor drives, electric filters, electric vehicles, DC power supplies, power factor compensators, back to back defense lines, and spinning system, interfacing and renewable energy. So, so these are all the applications of the uh, cascaded and bridge multi level inverter. So, this is all about uh, multi level inverters uh, for the force. Thank you very much.